Hey guys, this is Jim again. Time to do a shaving video. It's 2018. I'm going to shave with my my uh, Micromatic clog proof. I love this razor. The more I've been using these single edge razors, especially these Micromatics, the more I like them. This is my favorite single edge. Well, this I like the G-Bar. The G-Bar gives really good close shaves. In my experience, especially in my throat, where I mean my hair is growing up and back and different directions, and I have to hit it from you know a couple different directions. The the G bar gives good shaves, but this micromatic open comb and, and the and the G bar is mild too for a single edge. But I'm just liking. I'm putting a fresh blade in here. I've had that other one in there for two or three shave or three or four shaves. I'm going to use a fresh blade. I've been really busy lately, just to segue while I'm doing this. Loading a fresh blade. This is a, well, uh, people call it a Ted Pella. It's a gym blade, the PTFE coated blade. I got 200 of them from Conot Shaving online for a very affordable price, plus shipping from the UK. 200 blades. I'm not going to need single edge blades anytime soon, except Stephanie uses them a lot too. I've been busy, oh geez, I've been, I'm starting a new business online and, uh, you know, getting into that, learning as much as I can, and so that's been occupying a lot of my time to the point where I feel like I'm back in school. I feel like I'm back in college. So, and it is very much like that. There's just so much to learn, but I'm anxious and I want to get started. So, um, I'm doing that, but Stephanie said, hey, Marty Bickle, <laughs> like, hit me up last night, and he mentioned, when's Jim going to do another video? So, I was like, okay, it's time to do another video. I'd love to do them once a week at least, if not twice, but <sighs> lately, I'm going to have to make the time. It's really wasn't going to, I'm going to have to make the time. I've been soaking my Samoog. 2000 bore brush. I really like this brush. I'm going to shave with Local Gent Anibis. I've had this soap for a while. It's a goat milk soap. Goat milk, shea butter, coconut oil, tallow, potassium and sodium tallowate, stearic acid, glycerin, potassium, hydroxide, all the good stuff, plus Dead Sea clay. And it smells, oh, it smells like sweet and musky, a little spicy. You can look up the scent profile on, on the local Gent website, but this is a great soap to the point where I don't like to use it so much. That's one thing that I'm sure I'm going to fill up my salsa bowl with warm water. I'm sure a lot of, a lot of the, you know, any, any soap makers that would be you know excited that people would do reviews of their soap not with me because if I really really like a soap it's just like a unconscious thing I don't want to use it I want to save it Put some warm water back in my brush it's been soaking for about 10 minutes that's more than enough for these four brushes so Marty this shaves for you I hope you like this Anibis soap or local gent in general. Local gent has some of the best artisan soap and some of the most, some really interesting scents out there for a for an artisan. And they're local to me, literally local gent, Southern California soap maker. So I like to support local businesses and Rob and Jen. I love to support them. If if you know whoever watches this video, a few people watch this video. One thing I'm also doing is uh, I've started studying video editing software, so I'm just going to be doing little things, as you'll probably notice watching this video. Little little tweaks here and there to, uh, to just, you know, increase the quality of the video content. Nothing outrageous. I'm still filming this on my phone. But, uh, sorry, I had to pull down the Lucky Tiger. I'm going to use it. This doesn't take long to load with a nice soap brush, a warm brush. 
but I've noticed that these are getting a little bit firmer than they were when I first bought them, mostly because they might be drying a little bit. How's that look? Good to go. Let me get a little bit of this extra lather off the sides and put it in my other salsa bowl. I love using salsa bowls for lathering. You can get all different colors and they're just, you know, they're just a good size. Kind of a kind of a do-it-yourself lather bowl. I know there's great products out there. You know, I got uh, I got a scuttle from Douglas and Fran last time I saw them. I think we were at the uh, the Riverside meetup. Got a great scuttle from them. So there are and and it's affordable. You know, add a little water to this. Just a little bit. These hog hair brushes, I mean, they're called hog hair for a reason, mostly because they hog the lather too. They lather up easy, they've got a nice backbone, but then they hog that lather. you got to squeeze it out, work with it, but they do create awesome lather. Look at that. Local gent and a hog hair brush. But you have to soak them, or you're going to break those bristles. And your lather is going to be weird because if you don't soak it and you just throw some hot, dip it in hot water and start lathering, one, it's not good for the bristles. Two, those bristles are going to start absorbing moisture from the lather as soon as you start lathering and it's going to probably throw your lather a little bit. So soak them. Get the bristles hydrated. I mean, it's just, you know, wet shaving 101, dealing with natural fibers. If you don't want to deal with that, just buy a synthetic brush. I have tons of synthetic brushes. This one I just recently got from uh, Douglas at uh, Phoenix Shaving. This is an awesome Plasoft style knot. I guess it's a Plasoft style knot. I mean, it looks like a Plasoft. And the handle's kind of a retro design. It was like 15 bucks or something like that. 10 or 15 bucks. Really, really affordable. And this was probably 15 or 20. I think I got it off of Amazon with a bunch of other stuff. Ah, that's done. Look at that. Look at that. Ready to go. So easy to lather that up. Let me wet my head. I just took a shower, so... But I live in the desert, so... If it's been a couple minutes, I'll re-wet everything. But it's clean, so all my whiskers are clean. So they're going to absorb the water quicker. Even if you take a little break after taking a shower, sometimes I like to do that. Take a short little break, take a couple minutes, don't jump right into my shave. Mostly because, you know, if I take a hot shower and it's warm out, and I forget to, you know, take a cool, like a cool shower or a lukewarm shower, I sweat a lot. I'm hairy. Okay. Let's lather this up. Look at that. Oh yeah. Local gent. Um, some of you might notice that, I'll just mention this real quick. I think I mentioned it in a prior video, but I'm wearing a t-shirt. This is just like a white v-neck t-shirt, cheap Hanes, I think. Got it at Target or something. Um, some of my videos were getting flagged as inappropriate for um, sponsors. Not that I really care. It's not like I'm making a million bucks off of YouTube. But it just kind of got me wondering if, like, you know, people were complaining or if, if it really was an issue. And I think I was getting the hit because of, well, either language, because sometimes I slip get flagged or because I was I wasn't wearing a shirt doing my shave videos and uh, whether that's a problem and I didn't get any complaints like nobody ever commented or PM me or anything it's like put a shirt on you nasty bastard you're all hairy and you look like a gorilla but I've always had body hair always 
I mean, I could go into a store and buy beer when I was 16 and I'd not get carded. Just wear a tank top. <laughs> I didn't know too many 15-year-olds with back hair at that point, but, yeah. By the time they changed the laws and were carding everybody, I was already 22 or something like that, so I didn't care. I love local gent slather. Good. First pass. I'm not going for a BBS. I don't do that anymore. It's unnecessary. Because the only ones that know are me, is me and Stephanie. She doesn't care. And the trick with this Micromatic is to go super light, super light. So let's get this shape going. First pass, get it out of the way. Got a lot, a little bitty nick. I think well, I got a little, little bitty weeper on my head. Let me rinse this off. Or wipe this off. Wet, damp washcloth it works good for me. Plus my beard, you know, I gotta, I can't just rinse it. I gotta kind of scrub a little bit, get the soap out. Man, I can get my edges. I don't know what it is about this particular razor, but I'm able to get the edges on my beard and everything so easily with this. As long as I can see it. So easy. It's a little bit harder underneath down here to be accurate, but for the most part, Very easy to do my lines with that. Okay. Let me wet my throat. Jeez, my head is done. I'm fine with that. 
It's not BBS, but it's darn close. Finish my throat, do a couple more passes on my throat. Let's get this pass out of the way. For Marty. Oh, he probably just watched for the head shave. If you just watch for the head shave, you can turn it off now. I'm done. Done with the head shave for today. South North action or North South action. Okay. One more pass on the throat. Darn. Nice and smooth. Not BBS, but the amount of effort I have to put into a BBS, considering how many different directions my beard grows, the only place you can still feel any whiskers is like right here, one of the most sensitive areas in my throat, barely anything there. I don't care. I don't care. It's close enough. Good enough. Who's going to be sucking on my Adam's apple and saying, he's still got whiskers? Nobody. Nobody's going to be sucking on my Adam's apple. Even if I paid them, they probably wouldn't do it. Good enough. Okay. Oh, did I get everything? I think I got a couple loose whiskers I might have trimmed. The problem with the beard when you're trying to get up underneath there, sometimes you whack the edge, you get a little bundle of whiskers. Mm. I just like to be thorough with the rinsing it off and wiping it off and making sure I got everything. I got everything. Good to go, especially around my ears. Who wants to leave the house with shaving lather behind your ear? Nobody, nobody wants that. Nobody got time for that. Okay, I'm gonna use some Lucky Tiger. My go-to. I love this stuff. I use it all the time. This and Thayer's. If all I could use was Lucky Tiger for just like an aftershave skin tonic, if that was the only thing I had, I'd be happy. Because the scent doesn't really interfere with anything. It doesn't last long at all. So, I'm just going to use a little bit of alum on my scalp. Any little weepers, it probably, it'll probably just close it right up. Get a little bit more extra where I did. I did have a couple. I had two or three little weepers right there behind my ear. I couldn't see. So, and that probably did it right there. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to use a little bit more Lucky Tiger. Oh, woe is me. 
Okay, a little more Lucky Tiger. Just pat it on. Great for the scalp, great for the skin. Mm, everywhere. And my aftershave that I'm going to be using today, I got some of these fun uh, Czechoslovakian aftershave and cologne called Ferro. Ferro. This one's a cologne, Kalinsky, Kalinska Voda, and this one's Voda Poheleni, Holeni. I don't know how to pronounce it. They're made in the Czech Republic, but they're Egyptian themed, so I thought it went well with the Anubis. I don't know if the, uh, yeah, this is the aftershave. I don't know if the scent is going to really complement, but we'll find out. That. I have no idea what that scent is. Hmm. I want to think about that. And some of the cologne. I'll shake it up. Throw some of the cologne on too. It's got a nice little drop top type thing. So you don't really waste it. It doesn't pour everywhere. 